so next will be the 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 data analytics for iot okay that is uh, in the in one of the famous episode of this classic american science fiction tv series star track a homeless fairy alien creature known as a terrible is brought abroad and starship enterprises right the problems of data generated by this iot networks as i told sensors or the devices which they are going to produce lots of data per second in terms of gigabytes okay and and uh, which is generated by iot networks might well resemble the trouble with this tribbles at first iot data is just a curiosity so it is a just a curiosity and it's even useful if handled correctly however given time as more and more devices are added to iot networks the data generated by these systems become for lm not only does this data begin to consume precious precious network bandwidth but server resources are increasingly taxed in their attempt to process sort and to analyze the data okay so in this module we are going to study about the so structured data differences between the structured data and structured and also how analytics are going to be related to your iot data and we have machine learning section in this how this machine learning techniques are implemented to handle such a data okay uh, that are used to gain the business insights from iot data which are the different machine learning techniques which are going to be used to handle that such a huge data right and the real value of iot is not just connecting the things but rather in the data produced by those things the new services you can enable via those connected things and the business insights that data can reveal however to be useful the data needs to be handled in a way that is organized and controlled thus a new approach to data analytics is needed for the internet of things right so in this topic which you are going to provide the overview of a field of data analytics from an iot perspective which is going to include the introduction to data analytics for iot okay which is going to mainly concentrate on the the subject of analytics for iot and discusses the differences between the structured and unstructured data it's also discusses how analytics are going to be relates to iot data and this is there is a machine learning once you have the data what do you do with those data how can you gain the business insights from it this machine learning technique divide into the major types of uh, machine learning that are used to gain the business insights from this data and uh, again you have the the big data analytics tools and technologies big data is one of the most commonly used term in the world of iot this section examines some of the most common technologies that we are going to use for big data today which is going to include the hadoop no sql map reduce and mpp and the edge streaming analytics is also is required by the iot data to be processed and analyzed as close to the end point as possible as possible in real time this section explores how streaming analytics can be used for such processing and analysis the network analytics uh, that is a final uh, section investigate the concept of network flow analytics using flexible net flow in iot systems net flow can also help you better understand the function of the overall system and heighten the security in an iot network okay so this is about done so come to the 
introduction to data analytics in the iot in the world of iot the creation of massive amounts of data from sensor it's common and one of the biggest challenges not only from a transport perspective but also but also from a data management standpoint a great example of the deluge of data that can be generated by iot is found in the commercial aviation industry and the sensors that are deployed throughout an aircraft modern jet engines are fitted with the thousands of sensors and generate a uh, hoping 10b 10 gb of data per second for example if you take modern jet engine similar to one that is going to be shown in the below figure may be equipped with around 5000 sensors there are therefore a twin engine commercial aircraft with this engine operating an average of 8 hours a day will generate over 500 terabyte of data every day this is just the data from the engines right aircraft today have the thousands of other sensor connected to the airframe and other systems in fact a single wing of modern jumbo jet equipped with 10000 sensors okay so you can see the diagram of that okay so so next is uh, the potential of this petabyte of data per day per commercial aeroplane is not far fetched and this is just one aeroplane so across the world there are approximately 100000 commercial flights per day the amount of data they coming just from the commercial aeroplane airline business is huge amount this example is but one of the many that highlight the big data problem that is being exacerbated by the internet of things when you are going to analyze this huge amount of data in the most efficient manner so it is very possible to fall under the umbrella of data analytics so we need to analyze the data what we are going to receive from that sensors the data analytics must be able to offer actionable insights and the knowledge from data no matter the amount or style in the timely manner or the full benefits of iot can be realized so another very important example with regard to the amount of data being generated by iot and thus it needs for a data analytics is a utility industry even moderately sized smart meter network can provide over 1 billion data points each day for more details about data challenges we can go for the next uh, sections before diving deeper into data analytics it is very very important to define a few key concept related to data for one thing uh, not all data is the same we can say it can be categorized and thus analyzed in different ways depending on how the data is categorized various data analytic tools and processing methods can be applied two important categorization from an iot perspective or whether the data is structured or unstructured and whether it is in motion or at rest okay when you take a structured and unstructured data important classification as they typically require different tool sets from a data analytics perspective so figure 72 provides a high level comparison of structured data and unstructured data so this structured data you can see is an important class that typically require different tool sets as i told you can see the figure provides high level comparison of structured and the unstructured data you can see the both the uh, uh, datas right so this comparison which is you okay, can as the diagram itself shows that the structured data is organized formatting that is in the form of a disparate sheets or databases whereas unstructured data does not conform to a model it will be in the text some data is in the form of a text some data is in the form of images some data is in the form of a video and the some is in the speech form this structured data means that 
data follows a model scheme that defines how the data is represented or organized meaning it fit fits well with the traditional relational database management systems rdbms we can call in many cases we will find structured data in simple tabular form for example the spreadsheet okay where data occupies a specific cell and can be explicitly defined and referenced structured data can be found in most computing system and includes everything from banking transaction and invoices to computer log files and router configurations iot sensor data often uses structured values such as temperature pressure humidity and so on which are all sent in a known format structured data is easily formatted stored queried and processed for these reasons it has been it has been the core type of data used for making business decisions because of the highly organizational format this structured data a wide array of data analytics tools are readily available for processing this kind of type of data from custom scripts to commercial software like microsoft excel and um, tableau most people are familiar with comfortable with uh, working with uh, structured data so when you take unstructured data lacks a logical schema for understanding and decoding the data through traditional programming means examples of this data type include a text speech images and videos as a general rule data that uh, that does not fit neatly into a predefined data model is classified as unstructured data some of the according to some estimates okay okay 80% of the business data is a uh, unstructured because of this fact that data analytics methods that can be applied uh, applied to unstructured data such as cognitive computing and machine learning or deservedly garnering the lot of attention with lot of attention with machine learning applications such as natural language processing nlp we can decode a speech with image facial recognition applications you can extract critical information from still images and video the handling of unstructured iot data employing machine learning techniques so we use some machine learning techniques to handle this uh, the unstructured data a unstructured data uh, such as uh, the Uh, we use uh, some of the nlps to uh, handle the this unstructured data okay so this smart iot iot network generates both structured data as as well as uh, unstructured data okay and a third kind of uh, data classification is a semi structured data so we come across structured data unstructured data in between that there is a some semi structured data is it is also sometimes included along with the structured and unstructured data as we can probably guess semi structured data is a hybrid of structured and unstructured data and shares characteristics of both while while not relational semi structured data contains a certain schema and consistency email is a good example of semi structured data as the fields are well defined but the content contained in the body field and attachment is unstructured so other examples which is going to execute includes a javascript object notation that is a json and extensible markup language which are common data interchange formats used on the web and in some of iot exchanges the smart objects in iot networks generate both structured and unstructured data 
structured data is more easily managed and processed due to its well defined organization on the other hand unstructured data can be harder to deal with and typically requires very different analytics tools for processing the data so being familiar with both of these data classification is important because knowing which data classification you are working with makes integrating with the appropriate data analytic solutions much easier okay so there is uh, again we are going to uh, be, uh, discuss about the the data which is already stored in a shelf and the data which is in the motion we call the data which is moving in and around of the system is called as a data in motion and the data which is uh, stored in a shelf which is stored in some secondary storage devices and kept it in a shelf and that data which is we call it and we are going to use for a further and that data we call it as a data trust okay as in most networks data in iot network is either a transit that is a data in motion or being held or stored examples of data in motion includes at additional client server exchanges such as a web browsing and file transfers and email data saved to hard drive storage array usb drive is a data trust so when we are going to talk with respect to the iot it is iot perspective the data from smart objects is considered data in motion and it passes through the network and routes to its final destination this is often processed at the edge using the fog computing okay so the this is a processed edge using fog computing when the data is processed at the edge it may be filtered and deleted or forwarded on further processing and possible storage at the fog node or data center data does not come to rest at the edge okay when a data arrives at the data center it is possible to process it in the real time just like what we are going to do at the edge while it is still in motion the tools with uh, this sort of capability like uh, spark storm and flink are relatively nascent compared to the tools for analyzing the stored data so in this uh, provides some more information and real time streaming analysis tools that are part of the hadoop ecosystem data trust in iot networks can be typically found in iot brokers or in some sort of the storage array at the data center my read tools especially tools for structured data in relational databases are available from data analytics perspective the best known of these tools is hadoop hadoop not only helps with the data processing but also data storage okay so when we are going to take this uh, uh, data uh, motion versus a data rest right so we'll just go to look at the data analytics overview that is iot data analytics overview the true importance of this iot data from smart objects is realized only when the analysis of the data leads to actionable business intelligence and insights data analytics is typically broken down by types of results that are produced right so the data what we are going to produce may be descriptive data diagnostic data predictive data and the perspective data so when you take a descriptive what is happening so we are going to describe what is happening diagnostic when you are going to analyze diagnostically why did it happen okay so prediction so we are going to predict what is likely to happen so that we that data analysis we call it as a predictive we are going to predict what is if this is a case what is going to happen okay and when you come to the perspective kind of analysis right what should i do about it so why it is happen and what is a solution for this particular date okay 
So these big data technologies will collect, integrate, process, aggregate, aggregate and visualize. Collect the information, join, combine the data, integrate it. After integration, when you are combining the data, process it, then aggregate and visualize that data. Okay. So raw and processed network apps data, events and alarms, mobile internet. Okay, it is a geolocation. Machine and sensors, it is a CPM, CRM and ERP. The usage, email and messaging, video, relationship and social influence, that is social media. So when you take a descriptive data analysis, tells you what is happening either now or in the past. For example, if you take a thermometer in a truck engine reports temperature values every second, from a descriptive analysis to perspective. You can pull this data at any moment to gain insight into the current operating condition of the truck engine. If the temperature value is too high, then there may be a cooling problem or the engine may be experiencing too much load. So when you take a diagnostic data, when you are interested in why diagnostic okay data analysis can provide the answer continuing with the example of temperature sensors in the trunk engine you might wonder why the truck engine failed diagnostic analysis might show that temperature of the engine was too high and the engine overhead applying the diagnostic analysis across the data generated by the wide range of smart objects can provide the clear picture of why problem or event has occurred. When you take a predictive analysis of data, it aims to foretell the problems or issues before they occur. For example, if you take a with the historical values of temperature for the truck engine, predictive analysis could provide an estimate on the remaining life of a certain components in the engine. These components could then be proactively replaced before failure occurs or Perhaps if temperature values of the truck, truck engine start to rise slowly over time, this could in indicate the need for an oil change or some other sort of engine coding maintenance. When you take a perspective analysis, right, it goes to step behind a predictive and recommend solutions for upcoming problems. A perspective analysis of the temperature data from a truck engine might calculate various alternatives to cost effective maintaining our network. These calculation could range from the cost necessary for more frequent oil changes and cooling maintenance for installing new cooling equipments on the engine are upgrading to a lease on a model with a more powerful engine. So your perspective analysis looks at a variety of factors and makes the appropriate recommendation based on the, the analysis. Both the predictive and perspective analysis are most um, resource in, in intensive and increase complexity, but the value they provide is much greater than the value from the descriptive and diagnostic. Okay, so on the other hand, perspective analysis provides the most value but is the most complex to implement. Most data analysis on the IoT space relies on descriptive and uh, diagnostic analysis, but a shift forward predictive and perspective analysis is under, understandably occurring for most business and the organization. Okay, if you see the diagram of this, see there. So the the diagram see now complexity will be application value and complex factors and the types of analysis value keep on increasing when you're going to uh, different analysis of the data by descriptive will have low value and complexity is also less diagnostic still increases right and predictive analysis still increases the complexity and perspective analysis also will have the maximum value of that. 
ओके सो दिस फिगर इलिस्ट्रेट द फोर डेटा एनालिसिस टाइप एंड हाउ दे रैंक एज कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी एंड व्हेन हाउ द वैल्यू इज गोइंग टू बी इंक्रीज्ड ओके द uh prospective analysis provides the most value but it is the most complex to implement